this yeah. is the business And y'all ain't getting nothing for free And if you devils play broke Then I'm taking your company You could call it reparations Or restitution Lock and load, nigga What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot here I'm gonna show you, folks What you need to know And, um might get boring I might forget something you know it happens but you gotta hear this please hear me out I'm gonna show you what you probably I mean you're probably gonna ask yourself the same question I keep asking myself when the video's over with. I'm gonna stay here with you. As much as I've heard this, the thousands of times I've heard this and done this. I'm gonna stick through the boring with you and all that stuff and we're gonna do this step by step and we're gonna learn it. Because it needs to be learned. Your very existence is on the line for it. First, I'm going to show you how to navigate your government. This is all shit that my teacher showed me when I was in college. And I think a lot of people could put it to good use. So, it's been a while. Excuse me if I forget something or... And I'm going to try to do this very cordially. But this is a must for everyone to hear. I'm going to show you how your government really works. Let's start by who's, who gives you the news. Who are the people? Because, folks, you don't know what's going on out there in the world. So who informs you of what's going on in the world? The news. Like my teacher said, there hasn't been news in this country since the 1950s. We have media, which was invented by the CIA. It's a CIA term, just like conspiracy theory is a CIA term. It means multi-ethnic diversity in America. Some people like to say destruction in America, but that's what it is. Multi-ethnic diversity in America. Now, if anybody would like, <clears throat> we could get off topic some other time, if you like. Uh, you can ask any questions you want that you have below, and I will answer them. This might take a while, but I want everybody to get this, because that's it. No more fucking around, people. Time is up. And everybody is going to do their part. This country's done an awful lot for you. Now you're going to do something for it. Come on over to allgov.com. This is pretty much the... Uh, employment employment dossier if you will for the government and the first thing you want to do is meet your government now got the government got the president under him you got his cabinet 
and under them, Senate, Congress. Under them are departments. Department of Agriculture, Department of Commerce, Department of Defense, Department of Education, Department of Homeland Security, Department of Energy, Department of Justice, Department of State. Okay? Now, in each one of these departments, there's an agency. For instance, I'll go to one you know. Most likely no. Department of Homeland Security. These are agencies within that department. So the Department of Homeland Security runs each one of these agencies. Customs and Border Protection, Coast Guard, Secret Service, Science and Technology, FEMA, Domestic Nuclear Detection, TSA, Homeland Security, Infrastructure Protection, Citizenship and Immigration, uh, ICE, Homeland Security, uh, Science and Technology, there's different offices, um, okay, it's on Law Enforcement Training Center, now, folks, you got two different FEMAs. You got the Federal Emergency Management Agency. You got the Federal Emergency Relief Agency. Let's keep that in mind. Okay? Domestic nuclear detection, infrastructure protection, intelligence. Now, each one of these agencies, I'm not even going to get into the costs and everything like that. I'm just right now showing you like chain of command. Okay. And under these people, for instance, so under under the current uh, Homeland Security Chief, So there's all the agencies. Now each department has roughly the same number. Let me go to a big one for you. That was just one department, folks. Okay? Now look at this one. Department of Education. Now, these are all agencies the Department of Education. The Department of Education is in charge of these. So you got things like post-secondary education. If you don't know what that means, I suggest you go look it up. Vocational and adult education. Uh, education sciences. Safe and healthy students. So you would think, now there's a reason you need to read through these. Because there's some agencies that don't belong with some departments, if you know what I mean. For instance, there's no reason the Department of Education should have a security team. Okay? So, if you see, if you were to see in here, and believe me, they're around in the different agencies. There's things that just don't, just shouldn't belong there. And you got to remember, half of these people are Democrats and half are Republicans. Or you know, just I'm just giving you a number. I mean, it might be more one or the other, but you know. So now that you got the departments and agencies down. We're going to come down to this one. Independent agencies. Along with that, you also have the quasi-official agencies. Now, independent agencies. 
These are your agencies that supposedly have nothing to do with government and aren't even under anything of the U.S. government. Now, Harry S. Truman Foundation Scholarship Fund that is run by Madeleine Albright. And what that is is pretty much pretty much a scholarship foundation to American schools for immigrants. Taking your scholarships. That's what it is. So, you've got agency officials. You've got former officials. You've got ambassadors, former ambassadors. You've got foreign ambassadors and former foreign ambassadors. And yes, a lot of the foreign people, or I'm sorry, a lot of the former people still work in government, like Madeleine Albright, and certain other departments that you would not know of, like that. And you wouldn't know of that, and they kind of, you probably didn't know that, uh, because they keep stuff, they like to keep stuff like that quiet. And they like to do that because that is against the law. Once you're in government, and you've done your term, that's it. You can't run for government again. You can't be in another position in government. That's it. You go back to your public life as whatever you were doing before. So ask yourself, how come the fucking Bushes, you know, have been in, in the Clintons, have been in power for over 20 years? Now, within the independent quasi-agencies, got CIA, right? Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, okay? Run by Ben Bernanke. So them, the, uh, the Board of Governors, and the CIA, that's what we're looking at right now. Because I have told you before that uh, a lot of uh, TV reporters, a lot of news reporters, like Anderson Cooper and Wolf Blitzer, and uh, a bunch of people on CNN, a couple of people on Fox News, have admitted on air that they worked for the CIA. Megyn Kelly, Fox News, Project Monarch, which is a just another division of MK Ultra. Everybody at Fox News, they're all lawyers, they're, they're lawyers, they're district attorneys, prosecutors, that's Fox News. And you'll usually hear them going to the right. You got CNN. You'll usually hear them going to the left. Or vice versa. I don't know, I don't follow them. So, you want to come up here to the Board of Governors. Now, when you click on each of these agencies, they tell you, give you an overview and a history, tell you what it does, and it tells you where the money goes. And it gives you a list of controversies and suggestions to reform it. And it shows you a bunch of other stuff, okay? So, Board of Governors. The Federal Reserve is a government created banking system that wields enormous power over the financial system. And economy of the United States, sometimes thought of as central or national bank. Uh, the Federal Reserve 
makes important decisions involving government securities and interest rates that affect private banks as well as other financial institutions on Wall Street. By affecting interest rates, Fed can manipulate billions of dollars in business profits or losses and millions in worker employment and stock, bond, or bank 